Shalom to the hopeful elect. First and foremost, I want to give all praises and all glory to the true and living power, which is Yahweh Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rakak Wadash. Yahweh is the true name of the Heavenly Father. Yahweh Shai is the true name of His only begotten Son, and there is no God beside them. And I want to give double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone who definitely rule well, and honors and citations to the hopeful elect. For bless me to do another lesson In this lesson I want to speak about Fasting You know and I'm going to entitle this Pretty much You know fasting is no joke Kind of in today's terms You know or some people say You know that ain't no joke And stuff like that Well fasting is absolutely no joke All right, fasting actually it's just it's just tremendous man honestly to to put it that the least so I want to just make a quick point and then get some scriptures and the point is that you know when we fast if you know when we fast that's the form of us conquering a necessity All right cuz you're not eating and you're not drinking when you do a true you know the strongest type of fast there is to do when you're not eating and when you're not drinking and you know you start off small okay maybe 12 hours the more the more and more we get in the spirit the longer and longer the fast can, you know, ensue. Of course, within reason. You had guys who tried to fast, guys in the world who tried to fast and end up dying. And, you know, to actually quote the first scripture, scripture say, be not over righteous, why shouldst thou destroy thyself? So even a day fast is as is, is powerful as it is. Two days and shit. And then, and then you know, literally the body can't. Literally, you try and go four days. Like now, you're. That's like over righteous. Some people, when you look it up. Can die within three days if you don't have any water. So. Two days would be like my ma my my max, man. Personally, as far as I would go. To try and build up to. But anyhow, so like you for the long intro. The point is, once again. That when when we're fasting, we're we're conquering a necessity. Food and water is a necessity, man. Everybody has to have it on the planet Earth. Every human being has to have food and water. You don't even have to have a house to survive. You damn sure don't need a car to survive. You don't need even need to, to have sex to survive. You don't need liquor to survive, right? For people in the world, you don't need drugs to survive, but you damn sure need food and water to survive. So if, if we fast, and this is not for uh, like like this fasting community, for, for, for the health gurus, I'm talking for exclusively for Yahweh Bashmashai, for the Lord, right? So if we fast, man, we're conquering a necessity for a day or two or 12 hours for a half a day we're conquering necessity man for a half a day or for a day for two days however long you go you're literally conquering a necessity so if we can conquer a necessity how much more can we conquer a simple want or a simple desire see Like drugs, for people who take drugs, that's just a want. You know, it's demons that come upon you that make you think it's a necessity. You know, people get the shakes, their body starts to get all fucked up. You just, you, all you have is a chemical imbalance. But if you could try fasting, Conquering something that's a necessity 
how much more easy would it be to conquer something that's just a want? So that's why fasting builds strength. Fasting builds your mental strength, man. And guess what? That's going to build your physical strength, man, because the first strength is, is, is mental. You know, these guys that are bodybuilders, it began in their mind first. Yeah, they, they didn't, they wasn't born out the womb of fucking bodybuilder. Excuse my French, excuse my language. But, uh, it started in their mind first. Then they became physically strong, physically fast. So how much more does this fasting strengthen your mind when you're over here conquering a necessity? If you can conquer eating food and you can conquer water for a day, how much more can you conquer your, uh, a damn uh, fetish for buying shoes, you know? I got a buying shoes fetish, buying new shoes fetish, or I got a, you know, whatever the case may be. Whatever distraction it is, that's a want. That's 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 him and us holding us up from serving the Lord to, to our best to the best of our ability. You know, use uh, alcohol for for an example, man. If you can conquer food and water, you could damn sure conquer alcohol. You don't need alcohol to live. So see, it's just the endurance and the strength building that comes behind fasting. So now let me get a get my scriptures. So that's why fasting is heavy and, 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 and yo, you'll literally feel the difference. You'll feel the difference, man. You'll feel y your, your mental strength increasing. You know, say even your woman, woman giving you hell, right? And, and you fast to conquer food and water. How much more is that going to be easier to conquer? You don't need a woman, man. You don't need her. <laughs> so now she becomes small. She becomes a small thing. And like I said, that's with any distraction. Video, It could be video games, man. I remember I had a damn um, 2K demon on me, man. I, yo, I would play 2K. They, they had t-shirts, man. That said 2K all day. I would play NBA 2K all day. There's a spirit on you. So if you could conquer eating and drinking, you could damn sure conquer a damn video game. I become small. All right, so that's the point. And now let's get the scriptures. Um, what you, how was I said in uh and, and it's all for the sake of your how about you shy. You know? Um but let me not even talk no more without getting the scripture. So Salakia, this is Matthew chapter 17, verse 18. And how shall I rebuke the devil? And he departed out of him. Now in this form, a devil is a spirit. The devil also can mean a uh, deceiver. But this right here, when it says devil is a spirit. And how shall I rebuke the devil? And he departed out of him. And the child was cured from that very hour. Then came the disciples to Yahweh Shai apart and said, Why could not we cast him out? And Yahweh Shai said unto them, Because of your unbelief. Damn. And you, you know, you think about that and tie it in, like, because of your unbelief. You know, that unbelief could be, well, uh, uh, unbelief is weakness. To not believe is to be weak. Just like um, uh, Peter, when when the wind kicked up and he was walking on water, the wind ah like scared him. And when you're scared, you you know, well not to say when you when you're scared, well you could be scared, but you could still be strong. That's 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 what bravery means. You know, somebody's breaking that down, but uh, he got weak. Without that, without that strength there, so he got entirely weak, and that's what made him sink under the water. He, he was losing faith; his faith got weak. So, once again, that it just, it just ties back into fasting. Fasting is what makes you strong, because you're conquering a necessity. 
And remember, they wasn't fashion at that time because the, the the scribes and Pharisees was complaining to Yahweh Shai about that. He said, "Why do we fast, but your disciples ain't ain't fasting?" I believe that was the scribes and Pharisees, and Yahweh Shai told them, "What? How can the friends of the of the bridegroom, you know, fast when the bridegroom is with them? The bridegroom's gonna be taken away, then they shall fast." So they wasn't even fasting at that time. So they wasn't strengthening themselves at that time because it wasn't time yet for that. So they wasn't in a serious state of uh, fasting. So they were more so on the weak side. And that's what made them more on the unbelief side. So it says, For verily I say unto you, if ye have faith as a grain of mustard seed, ye shall say unto this mountain, Remove hence to yonder place. And it shall remove. So whatever obstacle, whatever you're going through, man, whatever we going through, if we have faith, we can get out of it. We can get it. We can make it out. We can see the light at the end of that tunnel if we have faith. Because remember, in 2 Corinthians 13, it says, know ye not your own selves? So we got to know what's our weaknesses, man. We got to know what's distracting us. We got to know if we're in the spirit. We got to know, you know. We got to know what, mount, what, what, what mountain we're dealing with right now. Okay. And, it, and, and, it's, it's, and, and, and of course, that's going to physically also lead up to removing these governments. That's, that's how, how far along this movie is going to play out. It's going to play out to where it's going to allow us to, to, yeah, of course, the Spring Party Albert Shemal Shai, um, Pulled that um, not even that, but um, uh, uh conquer the the earth, man. Yeah, I was trying to say what the saints shall take the kingdom. In order to take the kingdom, these other we have to take the power ship from these other uh, uh, um, from these other governments out here. But we're starting small right now. We can't get to that. Get to that, and, and you can't even conquer fucking, you know what I mean? Video games, man. You know, you can't even conquer the woman. You can't even conquer uh, uh, liquor, drinking too much. <laughs> you know? So we got to conquer the small shit first, man. These, these, these small things is mountains to us right now, man. Two, as well. So continuing on, right? Move hints to yonder place. So, yeah, fuck out of here, man. You trying to hit me up? You trying to hold me up? You trying to distract me? You trying to make me weak? You trying to make me waste my fucking time? You trying to make me waste my goddamn time, man? When time is precious to a man of the Lord? Man, you think, man, look, man. A ninja think time is precious, right? Everybody knows that time is precious, right? But time is even more precious to a man of the Lord. Okay, cause we can't get caught slipping out here. You, 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 you waste on. And so like, I'm, you know, I'm excited in the spirit, cause I'm, I'm so thankful for this truth, man. Cause it's strengthening. If it wasn't for this truth, I'll be a weak, weak ass ninja, man. Not to say weak, but I wouldn't be as strong for this truth. But anyway, um, time is more precious to a man of the Lord than anybody else, cause we're preparing for the return of the Lord. You know, how much more serious is time when you compare a man of the Lord um, dealing with time and a, and a, and a nigga who's uh, uh, going to prom or something? Prom will be here in two months, yeah. You know, that ain't serious. You compartmentalizing that that time of prom or whatever bullshit ain't as serious as a man of the Lord. Part of if I'm saying it right, it's time for the Lord's return. So you got these things trying to hemp, hemp us up, hold us up. Man, I shouldn't need to uh, uh, remove hints to yonder place. So that why? So that we can be on fire for Yahweh Bashma. Be back on fire for Yahweh Bashma Shai. The reason why we wouldn't be on fire for Yahweh Bashma Shai is because we distracted dealing with different devices and weaknesses and different battles and fights, man. So, so continuing on. It's like I'm just, you know, like I said, I'm excited, man, for real. 
I'm just trying to capitalize, as we all should be, trying to capitalize, man, to being a good servant to the Lord, for real. So it says, remove hence to yonder place, and it shall remove, and nothing shall be impossible unto you. So how much more getting hemmed up over the small things? So it says, how be it, this kind goeth not out, but by prayer and fasting. So there's some things that are so hard to deal with, and that's the last spirit. Day of Atonement is coming up. It says, how be it, this kind goeth not out, but by prayer and and fasting you know so there's demons that are more powerful that takes prayer fasting and faith okay and if they're more powerful and they're way more strong once again faith strengthens as well so it's like Dragon Ball Z man Faith, I mean, fasting is a power up. So that demon that's, that, that has a hold on you, that's distracting you, holding you down, you know, making making this truth an a, a, a obstacle rather than a free run. And that demon looking at you, <laughs> like how they be laughing, Dragon Ball Z, like Frieza, you know, all of them sell, how they be laughing. <laughs> but then they see you power up through fasting. Now they ain't laughing no more. Yeah, now now you whipping they fucking ass. Yeah, now it's not so now now it's not so much funny no more, man. Now you whipping they goddamn ass. Okay. So now that's why we want to continuously fast to continuously stay strong. Because once again, if you if we can conquer a necessity, we could damn sure conquer something that ain't a necessity. So fasting literally, spiritually, strengthens, mentally strengthens us, man. It's like I wish I was fasting forty days and forty nights. <laughs> you wasn't fasting for fun, for no reason. And here it is: if we're disciples of of Yahweh Shai. Followers of Yahweh Shai, we should be fasting, man. And then continuously fast. Now what? A bigger demon is going to come. Because the battle never stops. And now it's like, oh, now we battling this. So, Lord, one was edifying. And with that, I'm going to say Shalom.